Welcome back to GA Fan TV. Mayo 119, Kerry 17 points. Mayo have beaten Kerry in Killarney in their own backyard. It's a massive, massive win for the men in green and red. And what a performance, what a story, and what a win. What a win for Mayo. It's only their second championship win against Kerry since 1996. It also ends a 27-year run for Kerry without losing a championship match in Killarney. And uh, or in at home, uh, you know, in, in any stadium, and absolutely extraordinary stuff. And oh, Roberto Firmino has scored, but anyway, that's irrelevant. Forget that. Mayo, unbelievable stuff, unbelievable stuff from them. Their performance was absolutely brilliant. And from start to finish, they were just by far the better side. And like Kerry were just so flat, so flat, and something that you would not normally associate with. This, uh, this, this, you know, with, with this Kerry side, they were flat, they were lethargic, they struggled to play, they struggled to move the ball, they struggled to find any energy, their passing wasn't quite there, and Mayo just had this zip and determination about themselves, they were moving the ball quick, Jack Carney was absolutely sensational, he was setting up scores around them, scored a wonderful point at one stage in the first half, he, he had an excellent performance, absolutely brilliant, Aidan O'Shea was brilliant as well, and I've said this before, I think Aidan O'Shea now, I think he he's he's been one of the best players in the country this year. One of the best performers, one of the best top performers. He's been absolutely outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Um, from a Mayo perspective, it's been a wonderful uh, performance, you know, from him throughout the entirety of this season. Um, and yeah, you know, you have to give Mayo credit. Like their their moving was great. You know, you would have thought maybe after the long layoff, with the fact that obviously they haven't played in what a month and a half, that maybe there might be an element of you know, lethargicness, they might be a little bit sluggish, they might struggle to, to get their game going or their flow going. But that wasn't the case at all. You know, they started the game sharp. Obviously, you know, they were going quite hard in uh, challenge matches and everything else. I mean, hence how Killian O'Connor maybe got himself injured. Um, but Mayo, like they were, they came into this game prepared and there was an energy about Mayo that we've seen from them all year. We have seen this from them all year. Like this was the same energy that we've seen from them in the league. Um, and that's why, like, when a lot of people, we're saying throughout the league, you know, about Kerry and Mayo. Oh, well, Kerry, you know, Kerry were quite flat, but, how, you know, were they really bothered with the league? Uh, Mayo were brilliant in the league, but at the end of the day, did they put too much into the league? I think today we look at it and think Kerry played a very similar performance from what we've seen from them in the league, and Mayo played a very similar performance from what we've seen from them in the league. And, you know, it came together in a, in a championship game. And, and look, it, the result, the defeat is not the end of the world for Kerry. They'll still get out of this group. They'll finish second because I think Mayo will win against both Cork and Loud, and I think Kerry will as well. But obviously they lost today, so they'll finish two points behind. And the, I, 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 they'll still go on to reach the quarterfinals. Um, but you know, there's a possibility Kerry could play Dublin in a quarterfinal. There's a possibility he could play, who knows, maybe Galway. You know, and that that would be very tough for for, for Kerry, um, in my opinion. You know, to get a game like that in a quarterfinal. Um, so this was massive, absolutely massive for from a Mayo perspective, and. Just the way they move the ball, like they creating a lot of goal chances as well. Like Jeremy O'Connor gets that early goal chance. James Carr gets one a couple of minutes later. And Kerry, like in the first half, their marking was very poor. They looked very off the pace. They struggled to to find any energy about themselves in terms of marking wise. Um, like in terms of they were just very loose at the back, and it's just something you don't normally associate with 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 Kerry. Like they could, you know, especially Kerry of last season. They look like Mayo looked like they could have got three or four goals, to be honest with you. Um, and that was a, a big, big surprise from a Kerry perspective. Um, but Mayo, Mayo were quick, they were sharp, they took their chances, they were efficient. May Kerry shooting let them let them down. You know, Kerry shooting let themselves down. I think you know, you, you have to you have to say how it is. There is an over-reliance from Kerry on David Clifford. Of I haven't always believed that statement, but I look at today's performance and I think. They definitely were very reliant on him. Like Clifford scored eight points. I thought he had a very good game. You know, I don't think he was marked out of the game. I don't think he was kept quiet. He, you know, and he could have got a couple of goals today. You know, he put one goal chance wide. He had another one which was saved by Calm Reap. Um, so Clifford's performance was by by no means poor. Uh Sean O'Shea, very quiet from him. Don't think he scored from play, just three points. Uh Potty Clifford was, was was quite slow as well, didn't really get in the game. Um Tony Brosnan gets substituted at half time, didn't have the same impact that he had versus Clare. And Dara Moynihan scored a point, but again, he wasn't. I suppose you're not relying on Dara Moynihan to be the man 
to score you the points. You know, he's probably more of a creator type player. Um, but he he obviously gets taken off. And I, I've said this before, and I've said this on other shows. Like the depth of Kerry's squad is not there. It's not the same as it is with Dublin and Mayo and even Galway. You know, you look at Kerry's bench. The players that they brought on, Adrian Spillane, Brian O'Bugluck, Paul Murphy, Rory Murphy, and Stephen O'Brien. None of them scored. Rory Murphy had a chance that went wide, and Stephen O'Brien had a chance that went wide. Obviously, Rory Murphy, young player. I think it's his first year in the panel. Um, you know, you can excuse his miss. It's obviously a you know a big occasion for him to be involved in. And Stephen O'Brien came on and missed it. And you're just looking at it thinking, you know, Kerry, Kerry, you know, they need a Killian Splan back who can come off the bench and make an impact. I don't know if, if there's an injury or what's going on there. They need someone like him back, back in the team, in my opinion. Um, and you look at Mayo, you know, they bring on Paddy Durkin and Owen McLaughlin and they score one, one between the both of them. And that's like, that's the difference. You know, Mayo have options from the bench to change games. They bring Tommy Conroy on and he probably actually was actually fairly quiet. He wasn't really involved too much. He didn't score, didn't really have much of an impact in the game, but yeah, like he was, you know, he got himself involved and everything else, but he didn't quite have the game that we would have expected from him um, in fairness. Um, but he didn't need, you know, he didn't need to be involved. Um, and and in, in many ways, the game was done anyway, uh, in fairness. But like, w- what an option though to bring those players on. Like Killian O'Connor, not even in the squad today with an injury. Like, and did Mayo even miss him? I don't even think that they did. No, they'll need him. They'll definitely need him between now and the end of end of the season. But, Look, I think Mayo have a serious chance at winning the All Ireland this year. Like I, I predicted them to win it. I know some people are joking around, thinking you know I was trying to be clickbaiting and you know trying to wind people up or whatever. I was being serious. I, I genuinely do believe this Mayo team have what it takes to win the All Ireland. The defeat against Roscommon, it does kind of you know it does linger with you, and you do look at it and think, you know, they were a bit naive that day. Did they play too many? You know, was it a case of too many games in a row? Um, this break will def- has, has definitely done them the world of the good, but they have a serious chance, a serious, serious chance. They have the panel, they have the players. They've beaten Kerry twice this year now, in my opinion. You know, not in my opinion, it's fact. Um, you know, I think other teams have great squads, and other teams will be will give Mayo more of a challenge than Kerry did today, in my opinion. I think Galway, you know, Dublin are in the conversation. Toronto are, are always a worry. Derry could be there, thereabouts. But this was this was very, very good for for Mayo. Uh, in my opinion. And, you know, James Carr, very good three points. Again, you know, continuing on what has been a very, very good season for him. Um, three very nice points. Could have got a couple of goals as well. Had a few goal chances. Um, uh, Ryan O'Donoghue, five points. Probably didn't even have his, you know, best game as such. Like a couple of points from freeze and everything else. Um, you know, in terms of Ryan O'Donoghue standards. But I think the thing with Mayo is that I feel like last year, they needed Ryan O'Donoghue to step up. They were kind of reliant on him in some ways. Whereas now you've got James Carr stepping up. You've got Jack Kearney, Jordan Flynn, excellent performance from him. Matty Rowan around the middle with two points. Jeremy O'Connor was brilliant. And then defensively, you know, one of the reasons why I tipped Kerry for this game was because I thought, you know, Jack Coyne, Sam Callan, and David McBride, it's a very inexperienced fullback line. How will they deal with Kerry's defense or Kerry's attack of David Clifford? Um, Tony Brosnan and Paul Ganey. And David Clifford and Paul Ganey had good games. But, you know, they. But Tony Brosnan was anonymous and David Clifford had to work. You know, he was he two, three men on him at one time. Um, Calm Reap almost playing as a sweeper at times for Mayo defensively as well. It was it was absolutely excellent. Excellent stuff. Um, and even, you know, I think Kevin McStay needs to be plotted as well because he made his substitutes at the exact right time. There was a period around the 50th minute where Kerry brought the game down to three points and you were thinking, Kerry have a chance here. Kerry have an opportunity here at possibly um, bringing the game back. But and the Hessian uh, obviously gets himself, you know, comes on, you know, uh, Owen McLaughlin comes on, Paddy Durkin comes on, Stephen Cohen comes on, just brings on the right players at the right time. And that was enough to swing it back in Mayo's favour. Uh, in my opinion. But yeah, sensational performance from Mayo. Poor from Kerry. It's not the end of the world. Like I'm sure they'll they'll learn from this defeat. You know, I think the good thing about this year's championship or good, not so good. I don't know, whatever way uh, you want to spin it. This result, like it will, you know, it it will stop Kerry possibly winning the group and it'll po- it will stop them from going into the quarterfinals as a as a seeded team. But they'll still get to the quarterfinals. They'll still get there. They'll still be strong enough 
to get there, in my opinion. Um, but it just means now that they're going to have to play an extra game in the in the preliminary rounds, and they're going to have to, um, you know, do more. They're, they're going to have to, you know, use their squad more. And their squad is quite razor thin. It is quite razor thin, and that is a worry, isn't it, from a Kerry perspective? Um, so there we go. Del Boy, he knows the stuff. Hit the likes. Absolutely. Top man, top man. Uh, Kerry no longer number one team in the country. Yeah, look at the, where they the number one before. Like, I don't think you would have said they were the number one before today with a huge amount of confidence, given that they were sluggish in the league. But I think you could make a case that the league maybe wasn't as important to them. And maybe you could make a case that, um, you know, they they sort of look like they clicked into gear against Clare. Um, you know, and obviously they are the reigning all Ireland champions. But I don't know, like, I think... Yeah, you know, I, I, I think I think you would have to say Mayo are better than them right now. I think Galway, you know, are, in my opinion, are better than them. I think, you know, it's hard to know with Dublin at the best of times. Dublin are similar to Kerry in the sense that we haven't really been tested by any big teams and we haven't looked great at times this year. So it's hard to put Dublin in that conversation right now. But yeah, look, it's going to be tough for Kerry. It's going to be tough for them. And, you know, all of a sudden now they're through through the All-Ireland, I think becomes becomes a lot more difficult. Uh, just tuned in there and slightly surprised, not overly surprised that Mayo beaten Kerry. Um, says Sam can't see Kerry winning it after, uh, this year after this. They just look slightly off the pace and quite flat compared to the other top teams. Uh, Paddy says Mayo for Sam. It's written in the stars. Mayo first seeding will suit them. Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, they'll go into that quarter final knowing that they'll be able to avoid Dublin, for example. Um, you know, because you'd imagine Dublin will win their group. So you're looking at who are the possible sides they could play. Like, still some good teams, you know. Possibly a Tron or Galway. Like, obviously, that game's on at the moment. So we'll see sort of, you know, what happens there. But, um, yeah, like, I think it's, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Like, I think Mayo, Mayo can be very, very happy. But for me, it's not just about winning the group. It's the fact that they've gone to Clarny, beat them. Like, the amount of confidence it will give this Mayo side, in my opinion, it will give them a huge amount of confidence now. Was that the game Mayo deserved that Kerry were off the pace? Mayo more than five points better. Clifford kept them in it. Yeah, spot on there. I agree with you 100%. I think, yeah, Kerry just too reliant on David Clifford and defensively wide open at times and just off the pace. And um, yeah, I think, I think you know, when you look at it in terms of teams that won back to back All Orleans, like I think Kerry and Dublin are the only sides in the last like 30, 40 years who have done it. Uh, Kerry in the mid 2000s and obviously Dublin six in a row team very very hard thing to do very very hard thing to win back to back um, and I just think for this Kerry side I think there's a flatness about them this year and I don't see yeah I don't see them I don't see them winning it and to be honest with you they might even get caught in a quarter final um, it, it's not inconceivable you know so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens but yeah big big result for Mayo huge win for them and onwards and upwards and look serious all or contenders i i personally think that they are but there we go we'll wrap this up here let me know your thoughts your opinions in the comments down below big big result for mayo like and subscribe if you haven't already we'll be going live after the galway Tyrone game to give my thoughts on that match as well so make sure you stay tuned for that so uh yeah cheers anyone who came who tuned in and we will speak to you all soon